Hello and welcome to Xinhua Live. This is Cheng Nan with China's Xinhua News Agency. I'm now live broadcasting to you in Dunhuang City of Northwest China's Gansu Province. Here is one of China's largest molten salt solar thermal power plant. Every day from sunrise to sunset, over 12,000 super mirrors will follow the sun and concentrate the sunbeam onto the 260 meters high molten salt tower to generate electricity every day. Have you guys ever seen over 12,000 super mirrors? Have you ever seen this kind of 260 meters high uh, molten salt tower? Let's take a look. Keep following Xinhua to know more about this kind of power plant. Let's take a visit. Here is a super mirror, which covers about 115 square meters. And in this power plant, there are over 12,000 this kind of super mirrors working together every day. From sunrise to sunset, every super mirror will follow the sunlight, and all of them will concentrate the sunbeam onto that molten salt tower. And now we can see this, this kind of huge mirrors everywhere. It's quite a science fictional movie scene. Look at this. After counting on the numbers of the super mirror, uh, every, every mirror including 35 different glasses and, and just now the staff just told me that every day this kind of super mirror will follow the sun by the controlling of the computer. Just now I just saw this cleaning truck of this power plant. Every day different drivers will drive this kind of big trucks with brushes. They will brush the surface of the super mirror with water and after cleaning the super mirror will get more heat and then the sunlight will be concentrated from this super mirror to the molten salt power tower and now we can see this is the cleaning truck of this power plant And now the driver is driving this truck. And we can see all the brushes are closer to the surface of the super mirror. Now the brushes are working. We can see the water has come from the brush. And now we can see the water came from the brush. And the brush are swept. The brushes are swiping the surface of the glasses of the super mirror. Mr. Liu is the head of this power plant. And now Mr. Liu will give us the brief introduction of this kind of super mirror. Let's take a look. 你好,刘总。呃,就是想问问您给我们介绍一下我们这些超级镜子的一个基本情况。啊,好的。呃,我们背后对面镜子叫定日镜。呃,每一面定日镜呢,是由35面子,子镜组成的。也就这,这个小的
uh, this kind of super mirror, including 35 different glasses in this super mirror. And every day from the sunrise to sunset, every super mirror will follow the sun and concentrate the sunbeam onto that 260 meter high uh, absorption tower. Uh, and uh, in this power plant, there are over 12,000 super mirrors in this power plant. And after a while, Mr. Liu will show us, um, will show us the molten salt tower and the super mirror. Every day, all of them will work together to generate electricity to let up tens of thousands of homes. Let's take a look. Let's go. And now Mr. Liu will give us the brief introduction of the solar power tower system of this power plant. Liu Zong, now you can tell us about the principle of the power plant. Okay. This is the presentation of the power plant. This is the basic plan of the power plant. I'll give you the plan of the power plant. This three mirrors are the day-to-day mirrors. 代表的就是我们这个下面看面这个镜场，它的工作原理是定日镜，跟踪太阳，把太阳的光反射到吸热塔上去。因为太阳在动，我们的定日镜也是随时在跟踪的。这是吸热塔，我们整个塔高是两百六十米，这一块叫吸热器，吸热器里头的走的是熔岩，熔岩。这个光把熔岩吸热器加热以后，熔岩在里头流动的时候把热量带走。这里头走的流动的是熔岩，熔岩我们常规的熔岩是固态的或者是粉状的，但是把这个熔岩我们硝酸钾和硝酸钠的二元盐加热到两百二十度以上的时候，它就变成液态了。液态的盐就像液体一样可以流动的，通过冷盐泵把它打上来，打到吸热器这儿。进行吸热，吸热器我们表面温度可以达到五百六十度，控制在五最高不超五百六十度，这样的回来的热盐在五百五十多度的热盐回到热盐罐，热盐罐储备到这个热盐罐里头，通过热盐泵再进行跟汽水去换热去，换完热的冷盐，做换完热的冷盐再回到冷盐罐，把整个这个换热过程就完成了一个闭式循环。So by watching this picture, we will watch clearly of this power plant. This is the sunlight, and these are super mirrors, and all super mirrors will reflect the sun the sunbeam to the central receiver. Uh, after after heating uh, the hot the hot salt, and um, all the hot air and the hot salt will generate this steam generator. After, after the steam generator uh, will take the turbine generator to work and then uh, the whole system will generate uh, the electricity to tens of thousands of homes. And the rest of the hot air uh, will be in this cooling tower. Uh, in this cooling tower there's no there's no need to use more water because Dunhuang area is like water. And uh, this cooling tower, uh, we can use uh, air to cool all the uh, rest uh, hot air. That's Liu Zong, we just saw our generator. Like in this generator, it has a lot of features. 特别的，比如说技术优势，你跟我们讲一讲，就像比如说身身身后的这些啊，呃，是这样的，光热发电啊，它有它一定的优势。第一，它是比较新兴的一个新能源，我在我们这个光伏、风电之后又一个新的能源，它最大的一个优势就是我们这个这两个储盐罐呃，我们大家都知道，这个光伏只能白天发电。呃，风电只有是刮风的时候才能发电，但是多余的时候我们用不了，它就就要去产生气风气光。但是光热它不会，光热我在发电的同时，我还这个熔岩罐是有储能的作用，把热量储备在这儿
，随时根据电网的需求可以随时发电，也就是解决了新能源的储能的问题。根据电网的需求，我们可以随时进行调整，同时呢，也就是弥补了这个气风气光，我们通过光热做相应的一些调整。And Miss Liu just told me that uh, the advantages of this power plant every day and night this power plant can generate electricity because of this uh, hot salt tank. In this hot salt tank, uh, they will save the heat day and night. So even, even in the dark night, there's no uh, sunlight. This hot hot salt tank uh, will give uh, will give this uh, will give the steam generator hot air, and the hot air will uh, take this turbine generator to make more electricity. And following this board, we can also uh, watch the technical advantages of this system. Uh, excellent environment properties. The solar energy thermal. Uh, Utilization process is clean compared with traditional fossil energy, and the carbon emissions are very small. The quality of electric power is high, and the online power is stable, which is of being great friendly power. And with the heat, comprehensive utilization can complement mutually with uh, with conventional energy and with the continued improvement of the heat of this heat uh, storage technology, the cost will be greatly reduced. Nowadays, China has vowed to peak carbon dioxide emissions by 2030 and achieve carbon neutrality by 2060. Uh, 那么在这种双碳的这个大背景下，您觉得我们的这个清洁能源行业，或者说我们的这个发电站未来会有一个怎么样的发展呢？啊，是这样的，这、呃、我们是发展中国家，呃，通过这个工业的发展，必然会有碳的减排，就是碳的排放的问题，所以又要保证我们的高速发展，同时还要把碳的排放要降下来，那只能去。搞新能源的发展，呃，光热电站正好是迎合了这个，呃，正好是和这个契合了这个发展，我们碳减排的这个目标。我们的能源来自于太阳，新能源，太阳是只要有光的时候，我们永远都可以把它去利用。同时，在这个发电的过程当中，对大气当中、对地下排放都没有任何的排放，完全纯粹的一个清洁的能源。所以，整个对。碳减排，我们碳的这个碳达峰和碳中和，这个双碳目标，绝对是起到一个支撑的作用了。Mr. Liu just told me that where there is the sunlight, where there is power, by the help of this kind of、uh, green power plant, and more and more devices will be used to promote、uh, this industry. To a new development, and the following cameras we can see、uh, over 12,000 uh, super mirrors. They work every day to heat this molten salt tower, and there's no carbon dioxide emission.、Uh, last year, in the year 2021, this power plant、uh, has generated about. A、uh, 200 million kilo, a、uh, 200 million kilowatt hours last year, and nowadays、uh, we can see、uh, in China more and more this kind of green plants has been put into use during past few years. Without the need to burn fuel or produce pollution, the solar thermal power generation is a new energy technology with the potential to become a baseload power source. Compared with the tradition of photovoltaic power generation, solar thermal power stations can store heat so as to guarantee continuous and stable output, complementing ordinary solar power that remains weather dependent. 
even at night or in the rain, it can continue to generate electricity, maximizing the utilization rate of solar energy. China's solar industry has seen a fast growth over the past years with innovative technologies. It is well explained by the Super Mirror Power Plant, a mega project of China, where advanced technologies help it efficiently store energy during the day and continue working after sunset. According to the data by the National Energy Administration, China saw steady growth in renewable energy capacity in 2021. By the end of last year, the country's installed capacity of renewable energy totaled 1.06 billion kilowatts, accounting for 44.8% of the total installed power generation capacity. Nowadays, China has vowed to peak the carbon dioxide emissions by 2030 and achieve carbon neutrality by 2060. More and more, this kind of mega projects has, have put into use uh, in different parts of China. And the more and more green power and the more and more green electricity ha have been generated in China now. Now I'll wrap up our program today. If you like our show, please share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Keep following Xinhua for more news and updates. See you next time.